so so this is my second lecture it's passion i immobilization and set up verification uh, that is actually is connected to my first lectures yeah it is a part of uh, conformal therapy of course is a very very important part of imrt and igrt and everything uh, and so i try to give you some aspects oh here is a possible uh, we explained earlier the correct dose of radiation uh, shall be delivered just to the target ptv in our case and the dose to surrounding structure shall be as low as possible not only the organatrix in other uh, normal tissue surrounding the ptv we should also save it and must be achieved or many occasion this important 30 times yeah, at least 30 times every day uh, therefore it is better to have immobilization devices you put it the patient and every day the same uh, same um, uh, setting you do not need to contact the patient so please be ready why you are moving like this so for the organizing organization here it's easy for you and it takes less time but when you without the mobilization you should every day the preparation yeah it takes a long time so it is not only the repetition of uh, uncertain uh, uh, the to omit the uncertainty but it is actually you are working also quicker this is actually important and it must be very feasible very hmm, very feasible uh, must be documented in a way that allows other to understand all important factors of the treatment performed yeah some 30 years also you should understand so here actually the contents what we are going to uh, deliver here the source of uncertainty methods to verify the dose uh, customization of the block and patient positioning in immobility de devices actually i can also do the both first and then the verify yeah you do everything on the final check it can be done these are the sources of uncertainty i have taken these slides from the iea you can also download take it also from my i will put it also the desktop and you have everybody this one it's not a problem it's pa patient localization organ motion yeah there you have many many repetitions yes imaging is also a uh, source of uncertainty <coughs> definition of anatomy beam geometry dose calculation dose discipline evolution and plan implementation all the sources of uncertainty so we start one after another patient localization you see the patient should be positioned identically during diagnostic ct simulation and 30 times during treatment yeah the all are the same positions uh, this is actually a challenge but we have the possibility to do that we should be care and aware of that and source of uncertainty we have also learned motion reliability of the mark on the skin and course sac yeah this is sometimes also possible that's why every day uh, you should understand of the 100 cm source of every day check it maybe always and actually you teach the uh, technician yeah therapy technician uh, because medical field should have a very good relation with this sometimes it is not so in germany they have more relation with the medical doctors but you try to have also a good relation with them because they are always uh, eight hours with the patient yes and uh, on medical doctors and faces uh, occasionally there so actually they knows the, the daily problem and you have good relation so they uh, they inform you the problem and everything so you are aware of the whole therapy situation yeah this is very important don't uh, actually yeah uh, the faces they are looking for the medical doctors because they are fast man yeah and you only excited him so he call but should be also cook the back this is important yeah not just like a car you put the back uh, mirror and try to overcome him and then you forget the back uh, mirror it's not good. so it's always your uh, 
the attention in the back is important. So yes, organ motion, yes, in different types, sometimes in different position, organ motion here. Um, affects most organ, particularly noticeable for lung cancer, liver, prostate, and other pelvic malignancy. Yeah, it's very difficult to control. That's why in these cases, the IMRT is also escalation. It's so not so easy. So the people started MRT uh, from the head, mama, on like this. Yeah. But more they develop the devices, we start also with this. Here are the image issues. Yeah, this is actually also for us important to understand the image, especially from scan images. Yes. When you see here, also a problem, and we should also be aware of this uh, problem. And it takes also uncertainty. And here the target definition, out like organs, yes, we have discussed everything. Just, just yeah. a moment, because the microphone is scratching against this, and I hear a lot of noise. Oh, you are the expert, yes, yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, uh, target definition here, uh, here just uh, you see, Oh, just a moment. Uh, here, are the seminal vessels really where they are drawn here? Yeah. yeah the medical doctor can understand. Yeah, in the older time, uh, as I am the beginners in Heidelberg in Germany, there are some old doctors. Yeah, we come with the plan to them. When there is an old man, is a very famous. He told me, oh, "This is not the case." When they pass me my places, and so here, here is this one. When just there, I move it, uh, vibrating his hand was too old. But these people knows actually in which case the organ is uh, in these places. So they should know the anatomy and the movement. So there, uh, it is not easy for the medical faces also not on our text. But it is actually source of uncertainty. And here you cut the blocks, yes. And uh, how can you cut the blocks when there is a simulator uh, um, projection uh, X-ray, and you draw the and you cut the blocks, and you put in the real position in the accelerator. You have exposed once again and see the real situation or not. This is another source of uncertainty. When always there is a gantry set, yeah. Not because the patient is very thick. Uh, maybe it's actually the geometrical problem. Sometimes you have passion 250 kilo, then you have no problem, then put it in the floor and irrigate it. Yes, it's not a joke. Yeah, we have the, a, a, a course in linear accelerator, maybe 165 kilo, but we have more than 165 kilo patient. Yeah. It is the effect of fast food, maybe. So here, dose calculation, it is also important. You know this modality, dose calculation. Uh, we must aware, actually, the algorithm, Yeah, the limitation of algorithm. You can read, actually, the um, uh, publication. Yeah, medical thesis uh, should also not uh, overcome his uh, daily problem, but he should also be a scientist, yeah, a good scientist. You should publish, publish, uh, publish, uh, publish something. So you read always. Yeah, even your hospital, at least two or three uh, international journals should be there. Yeah, uh, talk with the medical doctor. Not all the journal from the medicine, not from the physics. But now you have also the possibility direct to the internet and uh, download it. Yeah, you have this. Uh, you know the European. They have also a very good journal, Green Journal. No, this is from the medical doctors, but we have Physica Medica. You know this, Physica Medica? This is also very good. And in American, you know the medical physics, even India, they have also very good and very cheap. You can the live member me $200, and you can have the whole life, the Journal of Medical Physics from India. They are very, very practical, uh, practical applications and practical journal, and uh, you can also have this one and so many and many. And also we have the F-home, uh, the F-home from the, um, <coughs> Malaysia. They have also um, electronic uh, medical physics journal. Yeah. As you should uh, read always, yeah, 
a medical physics should read at least two hours per day publication. Have you timed enough after you uh, finish your work in the hospital? So, actually the information update, yeah, update, what is, who, 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 where I find something, when I have some problem, where can I find something? The first aid, you have a good relation with your colleagues, you have your society, you can ask your, you have better than an hour time, you have Facebook, yes, on everything you can done, done. But you know the source, where can I solve my problem, where can I have the literature, where can I help, yeah, and this is actually the importance and very quick help. Oh, the algorithm is, yes, uh, some algorithm is, they have every limitation the algorithm. Yeah, you know the convolution is maybe in pencil beam. Can the pencil beam calculate in electron beam? No, maybe in head and neck, if it's had a deviation 10 to 20 percent. So the doctor do not know, you know that. Yeah, after the nose, there is a, some hot spot. It cannot be calculated. So you know all the details. Uh, so you can actually give the medical doctor the clear information, so can the uh, algorithm, and this is the limitation. Please take it in consideration. This is, you are the advisor of the medical doctors. So the publication, reading, and information, you are the, when you have more information, more knowledge, then you are actually the man of all times. So the comparison, quantitative plan, we can comparison, it can visually, it can quantitatively, it can qualitatively, everything is possible. And data transform, it is another actually uh, the tax, computer, Fachman, as a computer details how the data managing, yeah. Some physicists, the old generation like me, uh, is not easy, yeah. But you are always in the, uh, grown up with the computer, yes, uh, so you can understand uh, uh, the server, how can you manage it. Yeah. You cannot uh, always uh, call the uh, call the uh, vendors uh, biomedical engineer. It is easier to understand is the data is coming okay or not. Uh, that is why is the com uh, co commission time, you have some reports and some documents and you can always compare it this, just like a quality, co quality con uh, control of uh, TPS. Yeah, these are all the, you see, the medical is a very important person actually in the whole therapy situation, yeah. I do not, I like to overestimate, but sometimes I think, yeah, after the follow up the patient, the doctor had more, but in the other uh, chain, you have more uh, responsibility sometimes, yeah. For the bunker, for the design, the department, for dosimetry, for installation, everything in your, your uh, places, yeah. And you should be also be convinced this is my position when I should uh, um, have the uh, capacity to do that and people should respect me and, and I cooperate with them. But sometimes overestimate is not good because in a hospital you are not the first man. The patient come to the doctors and the doctors call you and go to the patient. Otherwise, when they do not call, you cannot come to the patient. So you are convinced about your position when you know your position, you can handle it better, yeah. Even in the, in the first days in Germany, some medical physicists, they are too much fed up and they are mad. Do you know this? They are mad because they think I am the best student of my classes. I can better mathematics than the doctors. I should be the best man in the hospital. So when they have some conflict like this, when they are mad, they have changed this profession. Yeah. So your position, you know, and you handle it with this whole team, then you have a very, very good, good places there. You should be happy with your places, not you feel always burdened, yeah. Then please change your profession, why you have, to, uh, have the medical physics. So it is challenging and you are the person who actually uh, uh, bring everybody together, yeah. From the administration, medical doctors, technician, and vendor, yeah, you are the person they bring. Don't actually, when you have some uh, difficulties in medical doctor, don't say, then vendors, I have difficulties in doctors. When they know, then you have the difficulties with doctors, the vendor come to the medical doctors, not to you. Because he thinks, then he's actually the main person, they have the uh, 
problem, so I go to the medical doctor. So you sometimes do not know what is in hospital is going on. So you, you should solve your problem, your own experience, and you should be clever enough. So here the data transfer, and here <coughs> there is a good, the plan looks great. However, one must ensure that during treatment everything matching the plan. This is the validation of the uh, delivery. Here, once again, this is actually. Behind it. Yeah. This actually very important. I cannot tell you more than always that the positioning is very important in all places. Yeah, what you calculate in TPS, this is actually the central and so should be done everywhere. Here the most important comparison, yeah, you have actually the port film and EP, the both you know, and here is the simulator film and DRR. Uh, every one of you in the hospital in repeat or you have some port film also? Ep ep yes, yeah, everybody. Yes, yeah, yeah. I have a good experience in port film when you introduce your port film ask me. <laughs> this is the old generation, but it was that time is very, yeah, the, because the, because you know, when the radiation, low radiation, better contrast, you know, the x-ray, it is actually the, from the nature, when you have low voltage, you have better contrast. High voltage, contrast is diminishing. Therefore, you have seen always a very good radiograph of a mouse. Have you seen a radiograph on elephant? No. So a slim people have better X-ray picture. The thick one is bad. So actually, this is the question: is the, this the diminishing the uh, contrast? So at that time, even in this time, some devices is given. Dupo film, Dupo, there is a French uh, factory and some steel cassette, we put it and we have done the contrast. And you can, the, bit, the uh, image is very diminishing, but you can understand uh, in which place is actually the irrigation places. And here is also important with the film, uh, you have here is the irradiated field, when here is the surrounding, that means you have one times the right field and make it a larger field so can you can compare of the anatomy is there. And actually this is a less radiation, maybe three or five, five monitor units. Yeah, you can neglect it or you can recalculate it from your treatment plan so you give less. It's all possible. Yeah, in physics is not, is a robust, is a very, very fine, zero, 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 one. Yes, this, therefore, you should not think about the medical doctor. Yeah, sometimes it is puzzle because you have done very thing is minimum when medical doctors oh, do that. Don't see, see their fingers. They are responsible for that. When you sometimes took their finger, then you are puzzled. Why should I do that? No. It's their responsibility. They do the science like this and you like the science this. So here is a cooperation. And both are same responsible. In Europe, in Germany, no plan without the signature of medical physics cannot be done. It is one of the specialists of medic uh, in the medicine who you are actually through the link. That, yeah. Sometimes the medical doctor, head of the department, you are not the head. Yeah. What should you do? You are afraid of him? No. From the radiation protection, you have the same same ability and same rights. Yeah. You are clever enough to do that. Yeah. Not fighting. Yes. Uh, because the legal law in your time in Germany, when there is a radiation, you can go only 15 minutes. Yeah, you can go maybe you in the city to bring your letter, and in between 15 minutes, when there is a call, you should come to the hospital. Otherwise, they stop the radiation because the medical fees is not there. Yeah, so your responsibility is legal. Yeah actually going not in radiotherapy, we are trying, it is also X-ray diagnostic in nuclear medicine. Yeah, when the nuclear medicine, in medical physics mostly is a huge uh, aspect, but most this uh, radiotherapy is the most application, 80% physics work in radiotherapy, oncology, 
and nuclear medicine 10 percent and radio diagnostic may be 3 or 2 percent and radiation protection and uh, administration and radiation biology all the uh, uh, branches you are medical physics uh, physicist yeah uh, here so here port film you are put actually in the cassette just in the um, uh, coach and here is the collimation and everything. So, if it, yeah, this is actually one of the most important. Uh, here, actually, you, uh, the real, in the irradiated machine, the real position, to control the real position, and it's compared with the uh, treatment DRR. But here is another tax is very important, although you, when you lead the publication, the people are trying to dosimetry with this. You know, the, in uh, 3D conformal therapy, we have not patient dependent quality control. You know this, yes, because you have machine added quality control. We do the TPS quality control on everything. Yeah. But in IMRT, for every patient, you should do the quality control. This you know. This is the difference. Yeah, every X, Y patient I have quality control and then treated. But in conformal therapy, no. I have some routine and do, do that. And after that, it can come any patient. So uh, the AMRT is very intensive. And here, the EPID is actually important. So we have a phantom. And phantom, we put the treatment plan again in the phantom and verify it and compare with the first yes, yeah. But when you can compare directly in EPID, so EPID signal should be translated in doses. Then we have the best devices. But it is not done. Uh, many places they are trying, they are doing some experimental, but not in commercially. I have heard the factory Electra, they are just offering uh, in this uh, EPID the dosimetry. Then you do not need any phantom. And what is more important, not in the single places in zero degree, but in any uh, angle, you can control it. So it is a challenge, it should be solved. And I hope it will solve very soon. Then the EPID is, everything is there. You do not need any other uh, phantom. The real vivo patient, the dosimetry and quality control. We have done some master thesis, PhD thesis student, yeah, but they are locally and after the finishing PhD, we do not apply it. Because the question is that you know the problem is the solution, but it should be commercially. Otherwise, it's not so easy to, uh, to apply. Yeah, we understand B is possible. But I think Electra, yeah, you can say the Electra, uh, maybe uh, they have and they should integrate it in the EPIT, so the verification system. Here, uh, electronic devices, yeah, this advantage, yeah, I do not explain anymore. It is in every angle and during the passion, many times in film is not possible. You should change the film and so that's why. Actually, many, many important. This is actually a very important part of linear accelerator, the EPID. Yeah, uh, here, uh, verification film. Uh, at least uh, course one, sometimes in week, it's possible. On location verification, and it should not be the uh, treatment planning geometry for the IMRT on ARC, you should uh, verify for single field. So verify the dose delivered to the patient. Yeah, this is actually the thermal emissions uh, dosimeter. We use it. Uh, um, uh, in brachytherapy sometimes, actually it is a very good, um, very good uh, dosimetry art. Uh, you do not need any cables, so you do not um, destroy the uh, daily praxis. You put the uh, TLD in somewhere and after that you can uh, determine the dose. You know the, uh, everybody TLD, TLD is actually very popular. Do you know about the OSM dosimetry for this application? Yes. Uh, but uh, I do, TLD is actually the uh, advantage. You irradiate it after many times later, uh, hour later, you can uh, calculate it. Yeah. It is actually postal dosimetry, the IA, 
they sent all over the world and check it. Even in a country uh, like Italy or Germany, we have every two years to control our uh, dosimeter, yeah? the calibration of dosimeter. Then the central uh, position, they sent uh, the TLD everywhere, and you irradiate it with the same uh, condition like uh, your uh, ionization chamber and send them back, and they, uh, they, um, they um, calculate it and send you the results. And it should be less than 3%, less than 5% should coincide the value of uh, TLD and the linear uh, TLD and the ionization chamber. When more than 5%, you should search why. Yes, and then change some procedures and like this. On, on more than 5%, you cannot uh, uh, prescribe those to the patient. Huh? Yeah, you can do that, this verification, yeah, but not the uh, control of uh, calibration. You can put it, yeah, you can put it. Yeah, every, everywhere you can put it, yeah. Also in the mouth, nose, yeah, in the head and, head and um, neck uh, treatment. Yeah, that is the then we TLD dosimetry, then we need two hours uh, again uh, the discussion here. Uh, but when you are one time expert, you should have a physics technician, say a physics technician. Have you a physics technician in the department? You have 10 physics, no physics technician, yeah? This is a great problem. You try to have a physics uh, technician in your department, just like medical uh, technician, yeah? Then uh, you can put he the responsibility, he understand, he has the feelings, he has the experiments, and he can give you plus minus 1% accuracy. But you are physicist, or no experience, no feelings, then you make many, many failures, many, many problem mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes I have heard some uh, physics uh, assistant, they take the TLD and sleep with them. So they, understand, they want to hear what the TLDs are talking. So these are the uh, these are the reports 24. So why do in vivo dosimetry? Just like you are telling why this is the vivo dosimetry. How we do that everywhere. Here, there's the TLD is the most important, and that naturally is the MOSFET, radiochrome film, and others algae and gel geometry. As a dosimetry is many many possibilities. You are doing this, yeah. Uh, and then the uh, then the exit dose, some hospital, they are trying also exit dose. Yeah, these are possible. We are doing not, we have no experience with this. Our exit dose is also very important. It's uh, coming, uh, maybe sometimes the regulation that we should determine the exit dose. Uh, once again, here you have heard in the first lectures, uh, the PT, uh, PTV, and you see the PTV treatment setup, patient motion due to treatment organ. Tissue. So, on PTV is a geometric concept we have told, and here is important. The PTV depends on the precision of tools. Yeah, the PTV you draw the PTV, and it is actually dependent on the immobilization device and laser. When a very good immobilization device and laser and perfect, then you can draw PTV less. Yeah, PTV is not include margin margin of dosimetric characteristics. Here you ask here, uh, the penumbra area and build up region. So these will require additional margin during treatment planning or shielding devices. Yes. On here is important, the technical margin can be reduced improving daily setup. Speed, CTB, ultrasound. Yeah. Uh, you have also uh, today's possible ultrasound scan. Yeah, in the in the uh, brachytherapy in picking, this is one of the option in ultrasound, yeah, it's a very good option also for radiotherapy. And once again, margin, not the biological margin, on what I have here uh, written, a small reduction of margin can have significant effect on the volume of normal tissue that are exposed. The ability to limit the volume of normal tissue in some instances may allow higher dose to be de delivered in the target probability of low 
Animal tumor control. When you have only 5 millimeters and you, are, you calculate it, the whole volume, yeah, it is heavy mass, maybe 500 centimeter cube. So, you can save a lot of uh, normal tissue. So, customization block, I go, you know, the customization block, uh, some cases we should also customize. At that, our time, customized block is a heavy uh, tax, yeah, whole day. People are doing uh, customization. We have not enough manpower, so we select manpower. The people, the young people, they do not go to the war training, so they come to a, in the hospital and do one year uh, training, and we allow them to do that. Customization block, I do not go to details. So you cut the store door and put it uh, the CP, MCP melting, and you can place it. Yeah, now now is then actually the um, MLC is take the place of uh, blocks, but it sometimes yeah it need the blocks here on that M M C T M uh, MLC is not possible. So uh, this, uh, oh, this yes yeah. So here is the blocks and uh, intensity modulation. Do you know the physical intensity modulation? Yeah. The older time, we have this physical compensator. Yeah, you have uh, you have cities in the area, and out of city, you calculate the water equivalent depth, and the maximum depth you calculate the rest one. So you have you have some compensator and put it in the just in the, uh, the head of the linear accelerator, and so in the middle of the patient, you can apply the same dose everywhere. So you have you use your monitor table. And this is done by today in the uh, IMRT. IMRT is nothing is a actually is a compensator, a modern compensator. Here, here, you do the same so that you only place the same dose. And then collimation, you know. Uh, Uh, collimation, the applicators in electron, you know everybody, the electron had always collimation and lead blocks can be uh, marked and then uh, multiple uh, collimators, multi-leap collimators. Uh, now last but not least, the patient positioning immobilized devices, the best collimation does not help if the patient is not stable, need good immobilization devices need to put patient in a comfortable position. This is often difficult with very sick patient. Yes. And need to make the feel comfortable. Yeah, always these are the mobilization devices. So here actually the situation and immobilization mark related to the position. You can uh, uh, actually the mark in the skin as well as in the uh, um, in marks both and the both coincides and everything because in skin sometimes it's uh, movable it come to other position but uh, when there is confusion you should do again uh, uh, um, uh, projection uh, radiography and you make sure whether there is a right position or not yeah you have enough potential to do everything more and more there is no border the quality control in the O, in the upstairs. Yeah. So, a role of immobilization, the patient positioning and immobilization are the most important parts of RT. I have written most important parts, yeah. The other part is also important. Uh, goal of immobilization system is to limit patient motion and reduce the probability of major positioning errors with proper immobilization, unwanted side effect, Immobilization such as molds, cast, headset, headrest, and other devices are constructed to reduce set of errors and patient movement during treatment. So, the role of immobilization, a well constructed immobilization system can reduce time for daily patient setup. This is actually also important. Not only uh, place in position, but when you have immobilization, you can work very quick. 
Yeah? Otherwise, you have a connection with the patient. You have uh, co collaboration with patient. Here, you do not know just like a put it and radiate it. So the two things are position accuracy, and you can work very quick. Uh, make the patient feel more secure and less apprehensive, reduce the reliance of patient cooperation and alertness, and it can help to stabilize the relationship between external skin marker and internal structure. This is another uh, important. So there's a many, many uh, immobilization devices, some old times and now uh, the modern times and different uh, head uh, uh, you uh, they have some standard set, maybe six, six or seven, then you can choose this and it fit always. In the past, patient for head and neck cancer were taped to the tablet across forehead, as in tape is put here, and a bite block was often used in order to tilt the neck in a reproducible manner, yeah, uh, the mouth and so. Today's method for head and neck and brain tumors include a variety of uh, headrest, mask, molds, and frame system. Yeah, this is uh, everybody knows this is acuplast. Yeah, this is actually is a runner. Yeah, uh, just like a working horse everywhere. Yeah, uh, for the technician in the city room, you have always a bath and the aquaplast, and every patient had this one. When aquaplast, the most common immobilization devices used to treat head and neck cancer, the device is made from rigid plastic that become pliable when placed in warm water. You can fold and mold in every, uh, every form of the body. When it is wet, it is placed over the patient body and conform to the contour of the treatment plan. Yeah, you have up to the uh, here is, is the shoulder, you can put it. Yeah, the shoulder retraction is also uh, sometimes also in the older time, some hospital have also seen this here. You have some belt and both sides the patient try also the shoulder go out of the neck. So you have the both sides and bilateral field you can adjust. Otherwise the shoulder is there. Uh, even in CT you should also shoulder out of the field, otherwise your head and neck, you see the both sides of the head, and it is, uh, you, cut, you cut in the TPS, but in the reality is not there. So it should be actually out of the neck and treat the bilateral. On the here is also possibility, oh, excuse me, here is also possibility like this, here you see here. This is a coach and the patient is leaking and here, and put it here on out of the neck. And now we can, place in from this side on other side in the neck and head cancer. This is the shoulder re retraction. And in brain tumor, yeah, it is very extensive. And not all hospital do the brain tumor like this, still active and like on, um, here, uh, they have some clinic very, very good experience. The Hartman, he has also very good experience in uh, steroid active, they have done in Heidelberg, there is a group. They have their own such types of uh, frame. But in actual, in commercial, you can find these are both types of frame. Oh, excuse me. Uh, no. Uh, the both types of frame, this is a Gil Thomas Kosman. Yeah, this is the uh, standard in literature you can find also in some hospitals. This is actually, when the seating is more than one, then you have these types, and when the single sitting than having this type. Single sitting means you have um, radio surgery. Yeah. That's like put the dose one times and uh, uh, and then a, is a higher dose. Yeah, you calculate it uh, through the biological parameter, how many doses needed. There's uh, also biological uh, formalism, uh, maybe 13 gray or the 10 gray and put it one times. When this, uh, this, uh, uh, this GTC, it relocatable head ring in now invasive device that can be non-invasive, yes. This non-invasive because you cannot operate three times. Maybe you have three sitting. So it should be uh, non-invasive. 
uh, and can be repeatedly fixed. So you ne need a fixed uh, fixed uh, coordinate and fixed position. So you see the patch. Definition on the head ring. Yeah, then from here and then both sides on here in the mouth. So you have the three sitting in the same position. Then you have the steric axis. And on the, the other one is a single, so here is actually the uh, radio surgery and surgery both. Yeah. Uh, then, because in invasive procedures, the patient is fitted with RBV system and then bot bolted to the treatment table, bolts are fitted and screwed into the patient's school to minimize any uh, uh, treatment during. Uh, movement during tuition, so screw and fix everywhere. You know, sometimes they put uh, external beam, and sometimes um, you know the uh, seats inside the patient gold, gold seats, and it will stay inside the uh, in the school. So, thorax and breast immobilization. This is also very important. So this immobilization is also very needed in MRT. Here is a uh, back, uh, back look. Oh, no. There are common immobilization system used in treated tumors in the chest cavity. Here the back look here. So uh, back look almost here equivalent and vashable to the unusable. This can use again and again. And this is a uh, breast board, uh, bre <laughs> breast board, you know this one. Uh, every hospital had this, and uh, here the arm. So out of the uh, uh, breast position and head, then you have the head headset, mm, headset, and then arm rest and slope to strengthen sternum in order to minimize the lung door here, these rods, and of course the leg rest is also important. Leg, uh, leg rest, sometimes knee, knee rest, uh, when everything is possible. Yeah. And of course, uh, in, here is a base plate, yeah, the base plate and the indexing bar is also needed. Yeah, when the base plate, you fix the base plate in the coach and indexing bar, otherwise it's moving. So, so this is also needed. Yeah, pelvic immobilization, this also, uh, Important here, there are two uh, different crucial aspects of immobilization in pelvic region. Properly maintain patient outer control during treatment with respect to isocenter. Other is related to variation of internal structure during daily treatments. And these are all uh, possible. Yeah, the uh, backlog, belly boot, hip fix, yeah, so many, many factory uh, uh, they are doing in, in European level. And then pelvic immobilization, yeah, once again here, uh, you see here the marks put in the pelvic region, uh, a marks from the patient mid thorax to upper thigh is made by stretching warm, again the thermoplast over the patient and then secure that mark to the pelvic board by looking system. And what is this here? Pelvis immolation, once again, this is a back sack. Belly board, this is also a standard immobilization device, every hospital, belly board. Yeah. When you have belly board, allow the small bowel to drop below the lateral fins to avoid severe effects of. Yeah, I have, uh, uh, I have shown you a table for the dosage uh, tolerance table, and you have seen this is a very sensitive sensitive organ, small boy, so it should be out of, out of the uh, treatment, yeah. And you put out and then three fields on both sides and the whole. Use of belly would significantly decrease the average volume of the bubble and would otherwise be within the lateral field during standard box techniques, yeah, box technique or a three field technique. Here you see here, the, uh, actually, here or like this. Here, this is the coach and this is the board. The, yeah, these are uh, 
the whole body radiation, yeah, they have some, this after old technology, yeah, they have done, have taken the old images from here. And yeah, sometimes movement is difficult to control, example, lung motion during the breathing, determined motion and gate radiation. Yeah, the gate radiation is actually in many hospitals they are doing. Uh, so it is uh, also the standard uh, or option in every uh, TPS model, um, treatment planning modality. And low solution, yeah, I have given you the low solution, but uh, the, when the rash patient, you cannot do that. Uh, hold, yeah, the older time, have reproducible bladder filling, provided dietary advice, yeah, always the bladder is full or, or um, empty and so, and breath shallow, and make patient feel comfortable and secure. It's possible, low cost. So these are the differences.